Morgan, Morgan, everyone. I am walking home from a somewhat frustrating appointment that I just thought I'd tell you about a little behind the scenes look at what it's like to, to be somebody who runs a business making money from the internet. I'm just coming from the, I don't know what you'd call it in English, the Department of Finance. I went there this morning because I had questions about all these different sources of income I have now through the two different YouTube channels and then especially with the money I've made from the book and then some other projects I have and I thought okay I'm just gonna go there I mean in Germany it's an actual place like you can go there and talk to a person or so I thought <laughs> I was living in the USA, I didn't have to deal with things like this because, yeah, I was younger and I didn't have two businesses. But now, here in Germany, I have these two businesses registered. One of them is my video production company, basically. And occasionally, I work as a sports massage therapist. I haven't worked at a real job since just before Corona hit and because all sorts of things have been changing over the past few years and now I have this money coming in from this direction and this direction from the very unofficial travel guides from this channel from the book I wrote called getting stitches on a cruise ship available on Amazon now and other things I just want to be really sure that I'm doing all the reporting of it and paying the taxes correctly because I have sort of this maybe irrational fear that Someday I'm gonna get a letter or a knock on the door and it's gonna be a big problem and I'm gonna have to pay lots of money in like back taxes or penalties or maybe even end up in jail. Not interested in that. And I don't know what it's like where you're from, but here in Germany, at least in Hamburg, you can actually go to the, I'm gonna call it the Department of Finance and talk to somebody and I'm pretty sure that you can't do that. You can't like go to the IRS in the USA, can you? And if you can, would you? And because I had these questions about specific things, I thought I'm just gonna go there and talk to somebody. And in fact, on the website, it says if you have questions, you can either call this number, call this number, or our office hours basically are from then to then on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it even says on the website, no appointments available. You just show up, take a number, and then when it's your turn, it's your turn. And that's what I tried to do today. I took a break from editing this morning, put on big boy clothes, and left the house to go to the Department of Finance. Went there, waited in line at the counter. The person at the counter just basically tells you, go this way, go that way, take a number or whatever. When I told him why I was there, he said, oh, you don't have to come here for that, just just call. And I said, well, you know. I'm here now, so I don't think I'm gonna call. And still he wrote down the number for me and he's like, really, just call this number. And I asked him, is that the number for somebody who works here? He said, yes. And I once again said, well, I am here, so can I just talk to this person? And he once again said, no, nah, no, nah, just call. You don't have to come here for that. <laughs> Frustration level already rising. He then asked me, what were the questions I have? What is it I wanted to know? I told him, yes, I have two different businesses registered and because of the money I made from this and the money I made from that, I think that I have come out of the category being classified as a small business and I'm now like a big business, a normal business. I don't know what these words are in English because I never had to deal with any of this when I was living in America. So forgive me if I'm using the wrong words. And if you know the right ones, please let me know in the comments below. I told him not only do I make money from producing social media content, but I also wrote a book and I have these affiliate links and also I make money working with athletic people as a massage therapist, but that's a different business. And ultimately, he wouldn't let me stay there. He wrote down the telephone number again, wrote down to my two like tax identification numbers, and he's like, hey, if you want to, you can just go stand over there with your cell phone and call. Uh, maybe somebody will come out to meet you, but otherwise, 
just call the number. You don't have to come here for that stuff. I don't know, am I old fashioned that I just, for certain things, I think it's easier and more, it feels more thorough to actually sit with a real person and talk about something like this instead of doing it on the telephone. But anyways, I did exactly what he said. <laughs> I went and stood in the corner of the lobby, called this person, and this is where it gets even more frustrating because this person that I talked to who's like, you know, I think probably everybody in the city whose last names start with M, N, or O, they're all part of his jurisdiction or whatever, got him on the phone, told him I was down in the lobby, asked if we could just uh, chat for a little bit. He also was like, just ask me what you want to know on the phone. So here I am in the lobby of this building talking to somebody who is probably just not even that far away. I started asking him the questions about the money I make from YouTube comes in this form, the money I make from the books comes from this form. And all of a sudden this guy who, I mean, like I said, I didn't see him, but his voice sounded as if he was probably younger than my age. So let's say he's maybe in his 30s or something. This mother trucker acted like he had never heard of the fact that people make money on YouTube. I explained to him, yeah, I produce content for social media, for YouTube and other websites and through the attention that's generated through these videos, uh, Ads are run and a percent of the revenue that is made from these ads is sent to me. By the way, if you want to learn more about how that works, check out my book, Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship, available on Amazon now. And he said, So you just like make a video on your telephone and then you make money from that? And once again, I thought, I, I cannot be the only person in the city of Hamburg who makes a tax return and has income on that tax return from social media. Wait a second, I'm just editing this together and I've realized that it doesn't exactly sound like what I mean. I'm not trying to say, Oh my gosh, I can't believe this guy doesn't know what I do for a living. I'm more trying to say, it's surprising to me that a youngish person who works at like the German Department of Revenue, the German IRS, has never heard that people make money online. It just seems weird to me that somebody who would be there doing that doesn't know that. Or am I expecting too much from people who take jobs like that? I'm not sure. Back to the video. I cannot be the only person. So before I could get the information I needed from him, I needed to explain the whole way that it works and what it's like to produce a video. I also had to explain to him what my book was about and I don't know, maybe he ordered it now. But to tell you the truth, didn't sound like somebody who likes to read a lot. And in the end, I think he answered all my questions and Yes, I am no longer counted as a small business in North America or in, in the USA or Canada or England or wherever you're from. Is there like a generalization between, okay, people who own a business that makes less than this much, it's counted as a small business and there's certain rules for that. But if you go over that income limit, then it counts as a different kind of business and there's different kinds of taxes on it. Now that I am, a big business. I have to do all these other things. I have to add a certain amount of, what do you call it? Like sales tax to my bills when I do send a bill to somebody. Also, I now every quarter have to do sort of a report. So it's becoming much more complicated, but the complication is a reflection and a product of the success I've been having. So in a way, that's a good thing, I guess. I don't work with an accountant, which is something I definitely should do because I'm not good at math. But there's also something kind of therapeutic in a way of doing it all myself and knowing exactly what's going on and also not having to pay somebody else to then explain all these things that I already know about anyways. Maybe after 2023, I'll get to the next level where I think, okay, now I really need to pay somebody to take care of this for me because I can't do this anymore. That's all I wanted to tell you about today. Thanks for hanging out here, listening to this rant. What do you think of this? Can he really not know 
that that's what it was like? Or is he just one of these people who work in places like the IRS, like the Department of Revenue, who like to make people's life hard because they're in a little bit of a position of power? I'm not so sure. Now I'm going to read some articles about filing a tax report every quarter. What other kind of things I have to pay attention to now that I'm a big business. And I promise you, some of these articles are probably gonna say, go meet with somebody at the tax department. They'll help you. To which I can say, mm. hope you're having a good day. Bye bye Do I have too many jackets?